Please feel free to take pictures and videos of the show. And now, what you're about to see is an authentic display of sheer meatiness, which walks around loose on the campus every day. Years of preparation, dedication, hard work, sacrifice, meal preparation, and conditioning have gone into the grueling training required to obtain the prestigious title of Mr. USU. Though we as facilitators and stage crew will do our best to keep tonight PG-13 rated, Viewer discretion is advised. Now who's ready to see these fine specimens bust a move? The opening dance portion is judged based upon energy, commitment, and personality. Give it up for this year's Mr. USU contestants.
Well, 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 I thought we were at Mr. USU pageant, not Dancing with the Stars. What a majestic herd of beef. I don't know about all you ladies in the audience tonight, but these are the only Aggie bulls I need. But it's not just me these hunky contestants need to win over. We have our four judges who will be responsible for determining which one of these stud muffins is the studliest. And who will we have crowned the Mr. USU at the end of the night? Let's introduce them. First up is Dexton Lake. <laughs> Dexton Lake is a student body executive vice president. He's not famous for a lot of things, but he is famous for auctioneering as his talent in last year's Mr. USU. In Dexton's very first USU election that he lost in, he met his lovely wife. Though they both unfortunately didn't win the election, they were married shortly after. Dexton ran again and has served the, as students as student as senator of College of Agriculture and now serves as student body executive vice president. He loves Utah State University and hopes he can continue to make a positive impact on the institution and its students. Next up, we have Taya Flores. In the fall of 1994, Taya Flores started her Aggie life. It is here that she earned her degree in psychology and began a professional career at USU. As a senior financial officer of student affairs, she approves budget and accounting support to Dr. Morales and the department within student affairs. Taya enjoys working with a diverse culture in student affairs, working with the great program directors, and working with the students. When she isn't working, you will find Taya spending her time with her three amazing children and her husband. <laughs> Next up, we have Dr. James Morales. Dr. James Morales was appointed Vice President of Student Affairs at Utah State University in 2009. Dr. James earned his Bachelor's of Arts degree in Speech Communication from Utah University of Utah and received his Doctorate in Higher Education Policy and Administration from the University of Minnesota. Dr. Morales is also a graduate of the Institute for Educational Management at Harvard University Graduate School of Education. Dr. Morales also enjoys skiing, snowshoeing, running, and biking, and spending time with his wife, Angie, and their lovely family. He is fluent in Spanish, Japanese, and is active in university, community, and religious activities. Finally, up on the panelists, we have Sylvan Needham. Sylvan Needham is from Logan, Utah, and was raised a true-blooded Aggie. In his free time, he loves to play basketball, go on camping, sing, and cheer for the Aggies. He is also an avid runner, having competed in the Boston Marathon. Sylvan is a, currently a senior at USU and is working as a marketing manager for his family's century-old jewelry store, S.E. Needham Jewelers. S.E. Needham Jewelers has been a part of Mr. USU for 20 years. Each winter crown, Mr. USU has received a one-of-a-kind custom-designed ring, which is cast in sterling silver and lined with diamonds and sapphires. We do have some quality people judging this competition. Please give them one more round of applause. And now, we are on to the talent portion of the competition, where the boys, the boys will be judged on stage presence, creativity, and comicality. Please welcome to the stage our first contestant, Nathan Scott. Gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to Adjacent to Three Succulents. I am joined here by US USA Art Senator and fellow hairspray aficionado. Nathan Scott, representing the King College of the Arts. Uh, Nathan, can I call you Nate? Yeah. All right. Now, Nate, you are a server at Olive Garden. Is that correct? That is correct. Nate, we want to know, how many breadsticks could you eat without stopping? I would probably say... 10. 10 Olive Ten Garden breadsticks. Bread yeah. Holy cow. Ten breadsticks. Nate, who do you think that you could beat in a dance battle? Napoleon Dynamite is just right up there. John Heater, I think I could have taken him. You think you could have taken the Napoleon Dynamite? Absolutely. Well, I'll show you. We'll give you a chance to put your money where I your mouth know. is. What is your signature move? I don't know. I probably just have to jump up and to something real. Just real short, right there, yeah. That was incredible. Powerful, I know. I am moved. Thank you. Thank you everybody for tuning in to Adjacent to Three Succulents. I've been Chase Jensen, this is Nate Scott. Nate, it's been a pleasure. Thank you.
Up next, put your hands together for Mr. Agriculture, Kellen Huber. Welcome back to Adjacent to Three Succulents. I am your host, Chase Jensen, and I'm here with Kellen Huber. Kellen Huber, representing the College of Agriculture. Tell us a little bit about yourself. About uh, so I'm from the central coast of California. I'm studying agricultural education. I'm going to be student teaching starting in the spring. Thoughts on cows? They're great. I love them. They're like giant dogs. Oh. Another thing about cows. So, um, <laughs> I don't love them, but <laughs> animals are awesome and cows are really cute. I would say that you have some deep emotional ties to cows. Yeah, I guess so. Go Aggies. Without thinking, when I say ye, you say ha. ye, ha. ye, ha. oh yeah. <laughs> Who would you choose to have a dance battle against? I would have to go with Noel Cockett. Calling you out, Noel. Dance battle. Oh, that was too much. You're too slow or what? <laughs> Thank you. 
Everybody was kung fu fighting. Huh. Those cats were fast as lightning. Huh. In fact, it was a little bit frightening. Huh. But they did it with expert timing. Huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Huh. Oh, oh, oh. Huh. Oh, oh, oh. Up next is Mr. Business, Brandon Ellis. Welcome back to Adjacent to Three Succulents. My name is Chase Jensen and I'm here with Brandon Ellis. Brandon, why don't you uh, go ahead and tell us a little bit about what's going on in your life right now. Chase, it's a pleasure. Well, everything's been going great. I represent Mr. Business. Huntsman School of Business, great spacious building. Our favorite college, School of Business. Now Brandon, I've, I've heard uh, tales say that John and Huntsman um, will personally tailor any suit ripped in the Huntsman School of Business. Is that true? It is true. Bless his heart and soul. So, Mr. USU involves a lot of uh, dancing and acting and singing and stuff. Who do you think you could beat in a dance battle? Let me just tell you, uh, I once accidentally won a dance competition. We were on a cruise ship. Uh, they had us all dancing to uh, Who Let the Dogs Out? A bop. I actually threw down a, the worm, you know, a classic. Uh, gravity wasn't on my side. I did the handstand and stayed up there. Everyone's going crazy, but I'm like, why aren't my legs coming down? And so instead of doing the worm, I ended up doing a handstand. <laughs> yeah, this one's for you, Billy. <clears throat> Well, that was wonderful. Brandon Ellis, everybody, uh, thank you so much for tuning in to Adjacent to Three Succulents. Brandon, it's been a pleasure.
And now, please put your hands together for Mr. Education, Ed Connor Simmons. Welcome so much to Adjacent to Three Ferns. I am your host, Chase Jensen, and I'm joined here by Connor, Mr. Education. Uh, my name is Connor Simmons, and I'm representing Mr. Education. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? I am going into nutrition science and psychology. I am a senior this year, so I'm about done. What made you decide that you wanted to be a gym teacher? Oh, you know, I just, when I was in PE, I felt home there. And so when I, like, when I go and see, you know, kids just playing on the playground, I just, I just think to myself, I want to be part of that, you know? Not in a creepy way, but just like, um, you know, help them, help them, you know, release their stress at a young age so they can be prepared for college. That was a little creepy. <laughs> Who would you choose to dance battle? I would choose Napoleon Dynamite. I love tater tots. He loves tater tots. And so I think the dance off would be like the ultimate, like, let's see. I don't know. I could, I'll be Mr. Napoleon Dynamite maybe next year. So.
And now, please put your hands together for Mr. Engineering, Tyler Frankham. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Adjacent to Three Succulents. I'm your host, Chase Jensen, and I'm joined here with Tyler Frankham. Tyler Frankham, and I am representing the School of Engineering. Do you want to go ahead and tell everyone a little bit about yourself, let the people know who you are? I am super boring. I like fruity pebbles way more than I should. I'm not going to lie, the first week I was here, I ate only fruity pebbles and uh, those little yaki sobas, and my body rejected it. <laughs> it wasn't very good. And so now here we are. What's the best planet? What's the best planet? Uranus. I, I love Uranus so much. Like, it's just... It's so much fun to look at Uranus and, <laughs> and just imagine Uranus like just there, so big, so so great. It's just like wow, Uranus is huge. Who would you battle against? Honestly, myself, because I'm the worst dancer I've ever met in my entire life. So if somebody could like set up a mirror somehow, that could be like. You came here to fight, but what you're gonna get is a dance off. It's a really small aisle, so you can reach on both sides. But you, you know. And now, Mr. Chass, Reed Erickson. Uh, welcome back to Adjacent to Free Succulents. I'm your host, Chase Jensen, and I am joined by a Mr. Reed Erickson. Hello. I am Reed Erickson, and I am Mr. Chass. Chass kicks ass. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? I am in the Communication Studies program, so I'm studying Communication Studies. Um, I am, I forgot the question, shit. I am doing Mr. USU, partly because I got peer pressure into doing it, but since I got accepted, I'm pretty stoked now. I'm just ready to flaunt my superiority and be validated from shaking that booty, so. How much was your haircut? Ooh, for or after the tip? Both. 55 before the tip, 68.50 after. You have to beat one person in a dance battle. Who is it that you dance against? So this summer, I actually went to a wedding reception, and Derek and Julian Huff were supposed to be there, and I was super prepped to just destroy them on the dance floor. 
They ended up having to leave back to LA early, but let me just say the moves that I was throwing down at that reception were top notch, and I don't even think those two could have competed with me that night. Go here, 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 boom, boom, boom. And now, please welcome to the stage, Mr. Natural Resources, Christian Chavez. Welcome back to Betwixt Three Succulents. I'm your host, Chase Jensen, and I'm here with Christian Chavez. Hi, I'm Christian Chavez, and I'm representing the Natural Resources College. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I am a chemistry major, which has nothing to do with natural resources, but, you know, why not? My hobbies are baking, magic, and happiness. You look wonderful tonight. Who are you wearing? His name was Fred. Tell me a little bit about your Choco tan line. I mean, it, it's pretty in there. Um, my glasses tan line, though, is something that I will never, ever, like, lose. It's a very, like, it's a serious thing. Who would you face in a dance-off? I would probably face Max Karabachian because I feel like that would be the most entertaining battle. I feel like we'd get so into it, we'd just get mesmerized with each other. Like, we just full on go at it, you know? That would be a haunting experience. It would be beautiful. Me? Okay, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Than 
anyone that you adore can talk. He knew my very end. Quoi t'en do? Je sais que tu m'avais pas cru. Doch seit ein paar Tagen brach ich nicht mehr nach zu schlagen Ding. Ich lieb nur dich allein. Broke a mix, he kiss for favor. No, can see a la palabra So, I came no, 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 la da. Then sin de la rian por. Per que per me to say la sol na dona mon bila. Wa kuka in no po. Tovar. Aggies. Next up is Mr. Science, Max Heine. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on Adjacent to Three Succulents. I'm your host, Chase Jensen, and I'm joined by one Max Heine. My name is Max Heine, and I'm representing the School of Science at Mr. USU. Uh, why don't you tell all of these wonderful people who are here to see Mr. USU a little bit about you? All right, well, I'm just a basic slice of white bread from South Jordan, Utah, uh, here to have a good time. Hopefully make you guys laugh, all six foot nine of me. So I was on the A team for three years and I've peer mentored like five connections classes. So I love freshmen, I love kids, I guess. Um, <laughs> Max, what is one problem with being six nine? Um, I concuss myself on a doorway once. You concuss yourself on a doorway? Actual concussion. Oh my goodness. Yeah, my pupils were huge. I was trying to tell my roommate how to do a calf raise, but I was underneath the doorway. And just. Just got him? I was done. <laughs> it hurt. <laughs> you have to beat one person in a dance battle. Who is that person that you would beat? <laughs> Probably my brother. Because <laughs> he's just as tall as me and just as bad at dancing. And I know I'm for a fact. <laughs> Direction going? Go on. <laughs> How are we all doing tonight, everyone? How's the show been? It's been good? That's fantastic. I'm here to show you guys a magic trick. Is that okay? Are we all okay with that? All right. So, can you guys see this card in my... Are we good? All right. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this card, very simple trick. Rip it into nine pieces. Y'all can count to nine, right? I'm a math major, so I gotta count all the time, you know? Um, rip it into nine pieces. Pretty straightforward. Three strips like this, and then each strip, you're gonna rip into three pieces, okay? Y'all following me so far? All right, all right. Anyway, now I'm gonna need a volunteer from the audience, all right? Front row, yeah, right here, come on up. Come on up onto the stage, don't hurt yourself. What's your name? Rachel. Guys, give it up for Rachel. You want to go ahead and take a seat right there? Now, Rachel, you have a very important job. I'm giving you this corner of the card that I ripped up, all right? You got to keep it safe because I'm magic. I'm bound to do anything, honestly. This might become a frog or something. I don't know if I lose concentration. So you go ahead, hold that. Keep that from me, all right? 
in your hands. The rest of the cards are going in the box. This box is like an oven. Y'all ever made cookies and you put them in an oven, right? Pretty straightforward. I'm going to cook this card back together. You guys ready? So I just need to get out my pen, set the temperature. What's a good temperature to bake at? Three. Love at 425. All right. Now we put it on bake. You guys want to see another magic trick while we wait? Because it's cooking. It's cooking right now. I don't think it's quite done. I'm going to make this whole deck of cards disappear. You guys ready? One, two, three. Match. That's, that's an expert level trick. Do not try that one at home. Liable to kill someone. Anyway, it's kind of hot still. <sighs> All right. So I think it's almost done. Can I get a countdown from three and then a drum roll, please? All right, ready? Just like that, we cooked the card back together. <laughs> Except for one corner, but you guys know where that corner is, right? Rachel, can we see it? Can you show it up to the audience? Does it fit? You know, you can keep that. Show it to everyone. And go, give it up for Rachel again. Thank you so much. Yeah, give it up for her. Fantastic. Well, I lost my deck of cards. So that's all I got. But thank you all so much. Please enjoy the rest of the show. Peace, love, and blessings. Up next is Mr. Student Alumni, Jeremy Ludwig. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Adjacent to Three Succulents. I'm your host, Chase Jensen, and I'm joined with Jeremy Ludwig. Jeremy, pleasure to have you here on the show. Thanks, Chase. Jeremy, why don't you introduce yourself? This is your first public TV appearance. It sure is. Tell, the, tell our folks a little bit about you. I'm Jeremy Ludwig. I am in Mr. USU as Mr. SAA, which is short for the Student Alumni Association. Well, Jeremy, I got a couple questions for you Fantastic. here, if that's OK with you. Uh, Jeremy, word on the street is that you have been known to spill the tea. Absolutely, Chase. Jeremy, what is the tea? If I spilled it, it wouldn't be the tea anymore. So come talk to me later. I want you to imagine yourself on a stage in front of thousands of screaming fans. You, one other person, dance battle. Who could you beat in a dance battle? Probably you, Chase. Is that a threat? Could be. So Jeremy, what is your signature dance move? I've been known to booty drop every once in a while. Could you maybe show us a booty drop? <laughs> it's okay, I understand. Yeah. This has been adjacent to three succulents. Blindsided by a feeling that I've never known. I'm dealing with it on my own. The phone is quiet, your walls are bare. I drink myself to sleep, who cares? No one even has to know. Dealing with it on my own. I got way too much time to be this hurt. Somebody help, it's getting worse. What do you do with a broken heart? Once the light fades, everything is dark. Way too much whiskey in my blood. I feel my body giving up. Can I hold on for another night? What do I do with all this time? Heavy thoughts when it gets late Put me in a fragile state 
Wish I wasn't going home. Damn it. Dealing with it on my own. I'm praying, but it's not enough. I'm done, I don't believe in love. Learning how to let it go. Dealing with it on my own. I got way too much time to be this hurt. Somebody help, it's getting worse. What do you do with a broken heart? Once the light fades, everything is dark. Way too much whiskey in my blood. I feel my body giving up. Can I hold on for another night? What do I do with all this time? I drive circles under street lights, and nothing seems too clear. My mind, I can't forget. Get this out of my head, so I drive chasing Malibu. Nights and nothing seems to heal. My mind, I can't forget. I got way too much time to be this hurt. Somebody help, it's getting worse. What do you do with a broken heart? Once the light fades, everything is dark. Way too much whiskey in my blood. I feel my body giving up. Can I hold on for another night? What do I do with all this time? Up next is Mr. Diversity, Max Karabachian. Welcome back to Betwixt Three Succulents. I'm your host, Chase Jensen, and I'm joined here with Max Karabachian. Hi, my name is Maximiliano Garabed Karabachian. Karabachian, not Kardashian. I actually have morals, and I am representing Mr. Diversity. So, Max, tell us a little bit about what you got going on up here. How long have you been growing your hair out? I've been growing it out ever since I was born, actually. Um, I just keep up with it by cutting it every now and then. But um, yeah, I just, I love it so much. It's, it's fun. Um, as you can see, I am attempting to get on the flow gang, the flow as the gang. kids say. Uh, what tips do you have for aspiring members of the long hair club out there? Really, just take care of it. Don't wash it every day, unless you want to be bald. I mean that. Don't wash it every day. A lot of people, think that to have beautiful hair, you need to wash it all the time. But it looks pretty gross, so I, don't, I, could, I could assume that you don't wash it every day. Uh, <laughs> my next question was, um, uh, how, how's my hair looking, Max? <laughs> to win that million dollars, you need to beat one person in a dance battle. Who would that person be? I would probably pick my sister, because I love her to death. And God bless her soul, but she is probably one of the most uncoordinated people I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> if I would wash her. You would wash her? I would, yeah. Would you take her to the cleaners? I would clean her clocks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching In Betwixt Three Ferns. These are succulents every time. Let me try that again.
drop up and cross your legs, turn around and clap. And shuffle to the left, let's glide now. Ooh, drop it down, drop it down low, 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 low to the floor. Low. Bring it up, clap and roll, roll. Step on them, step on them, step on them, step. Step on them, kick on them, something you step. Swag the right, surf the left, work the middle till it hurt a little. And now, representing Mr. Greek, Glenn Peterson. Welcome to Adjacent to Three Succulents. I'm your host, Chase Jensen, and I am joined by Glenn Peterson. My name is Glenn Peterson, and I'm representing Greek Life. Could you tell us maybe a little bit about yourself, what you're studying up here, your goals and your aspirations? It's a lot of words that I don't understand. Um, well, I'm up here, I'm studying public relations with a minor in a lot of stuff, mainly juggling. Uh, my aspirations, I want to be a social media ambassador or a beer enthusiast, um, hopefully the latter. Glenn, what is your favorite part of being a Utah State student? Probably the lack of bears. <laughs> okay. Uh, Don't touch me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What is the difference between a frat and a fraternity? Frat boys are sweaty. Um, and fraternity men take showers. Who would you beat in a dance battle? Michael Phelps. He's not in water. I can take him. Do you think that Michael Phelps can only dance in water? Have you seen him dance on land? I haven't. Thank you, Lucas. Right there is perfect. Welcome to The Glenn Factor. Dun, dun, dun. We have an amazing show. It's going to be so great. Let me explain what's going on right now. Thank you, audience member. This is my show. Please respect that. In this bag, I have a whole bunch of random stuff. And you're going to choose what I eat. That simple. And also, I have selected, there's 14 foods in here, seven of these I really want to eat, seven of them I do not want to eat. So for everyone who want to eat, I will do a bean boozled challenge. Is what this is? Yeah? Basically, there's two of each color jelly bean, like a yellow one. One is peach, one is butthole. <laughs> so things off, let's do something simple. This one is blue. That's not good. <laughs> it's actually minty. Okay, let's just see what I got in my bag here. So first things first, we got something simple. We have a lot of stuff in here. We have a lime, peeled and boiled for safety, or a grapefruit. Okay, what do we want, lime or grapefruit? A lot of grapefruits, cool. By the way, how did this grape get so big? Drink a lot of milk, I guess, like Max. 
<laughs> By the way, magic is fake. Don't listen to him. Just going to toss that in there. Hope there's no seeds in there. Okay. So next up, we have milk or hot dog water. It's been steeped for a while. It sounds like I want hot dog water. <laughs> How many of y'all been in a fraternity house before? Honestly, my girl's back there. It's like all the shower water is hot dog water, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, next up, we have chunk light tuna or pickled herring and sour cream. James, what do I want? Do you want tuna? Pickled herring? <laughs> Sounds like a lot of pickled. That is wretched. <laughs> that is beyond gross. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Got my safety bucket here, by the way. Yep, real classy, Glenn. Oh, I also wanted that, by the way. So, joke's on you. I get this one. That is barf. <laughs> Uh, who gave me that? <laughs> okay. By the way, this is sponsored by Vitamin Water. Vitamins and Water, classic. So let's, next up we have, let's see what I got here. I have oatmeal, or I have like a lot of butter. <laughs> butter? <laughs> like a lot of butter. Put a hot dog in it? You're trying to kill me. <laughs> Let's just do uh, more. That'll work. Okay, <laughs> next up we have potato salad or chipotle mango salsa. Oh, right, let's see. What do I want, young man? Uh, Potato salad? Good choice. <laughs> You're telling me a potato made this salad? That's pretty insane. <laughs> the dexterity on that guy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's looking awfully opaque. <laughs> also, I wanted that one. Let's do, this is like maroon. That's the worst one by far. <laughs> Canned dog food, delightful. Okay, <laughs> next up, Brussels sprouts or flaming Hot Cheetos? <laughs> flaming Hot Cheetos it is. Honestly, these are kind of like, it's like the SC Needhams of the Cheeto world, I'd say, you know, top class jewelry, top class Cheeto. Please sponsor me, haha. <laughs> I'll get my mug out here. Also, if it's too dense, I'm gonna add some water. Just, is that fair? Cool. Milk? <laughs> okay, last but not least, I got a bag full of peppers in here. And a knife, oh yikes. <laughs> That's dangerous. Okay, I'm gonna add these ones anyway. These are habanero. I'm just gonna get the stems off there. Eat the stems? I am not, uh, I don't know what I want to say there. <laughs> the stems? You guys eat stems? <laughs> Put more butter in? <laughs> that was a lot of butter. I said like a lot of butter. That was a lot of butter. Okay, jalapeno or serrano? Both? Both. Both. Hot dog? For the people, I'll do a hot dog. I'm gonna add some water just in case. No water? Yes, this section over here is a bunch of masochists. They want me to die. <laughs> I gotta be water. That's also a big blender, by the way. 
Okay, let's do this up right now. Close on tight. Can I get some, can I get some energy in the arena? She not stopping. <laughs> Guys, that is spicy. That is some spicy water. <laughs> I can't do more, look at it. Okay, give me a countdown. Three, two, one. One second. You ever wonder why Groot has eyebrows? Why does Groot have eyebrows? It's really chewy. <laughs> really spicy too. Okay, back in it. <laughs> Guys, that is a lot. <laughs> I don't know, James, what do you think? <laughs> That's hard. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more heartfelt chug, okay? One more heartfelt chug. It's hard. It's really hard, okay? I'm a good frat kid, I'm a good frat kid, I'm a good frat kid. No way. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go. That was hard. I am not feeling good. <sighs> Just gonna blow us in there and have my way. <laughs> More butter. <laughs> okay, can I have some help out here, please? <laughs> and now, last but certainly not least, Mr. Involvement, Tony Alstrom. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Adjacent to Three Succulents. I am your host. I'm joined with Tony Alstrom. I'm Tony Alstrom, and I'm representing Mr. Involvement. Uh, Tony, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm from Bountiful, Utah. Uh, I'm studying communication studies, and I graduate in spring, so I'm pretty excited. Tony, what's your favorite part about being up here at Utah State? You know, my favorite part about being up here at Utah State, it's really personal to me. My whole life, I haven't really felt like I belonged in more than just my home. I didn't really find a fit for myself until I got up here. And I really do feel like I've found a place where I belong and I am welcome. Uh, Mr. Involvement, I've heard rumors that you just got involved to pad your resume. Thoughts? <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. People are pretty frequent about that. But it's like I said earlier, I'm really searching for places where I can feel that belonging and extend that belonging to other people. Can you list every organization that you've been involved in here at Utah State in under 10 seconds? Well, here we go. I think that's pretty much it. Who would you beat in a dance battle? I don't know if there's anybody that I could beat in a dance battle, but Cameron Mortensen, because he's always hurt. So I could probably beat him because he can't dance. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? I love it. Well, I can't think of talents that go on stages very well, so I'm just gonna list all of the contestants and if they're single or not, so you don't have to do that later. Is that cool? I'm just kidding, I can't do that, I can't do that. That's a joke, I can't do that. But um, like I said, I'm not good with super big stage talents, so um, I've been told I've been pretty good at helping people feel included and loved, so we're gonna try that and make you all feel good before we leave. So, here we go. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt a 
forgotten in the middle of nowhere. Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear. Well, let that lonely feeling wash away. Maybe there's a reason to believe you'll be okay. Cause when you don't feel strong enough to stand, you can reach, reach out your hand. And oh, someone will come running, and I know they'll take you home. Even when the dark comes crashing through, when you need a friend to carry you, and when you're broken on the ground, you will be found. So let the sun come streaming in, cause you'll reach up and you'll rise again. Lift your head and look around, you will be found. You will be found. You I got a message for you tonight. Well, those were some absolutely stellar performances. I can't say I've ever seen such incredible display of talent. Their beauty and their grace, but which one will be Mr. Utah State? Good thing we've had the formal section to help with that decision. Everyone knows that one's appearance is hands down the most important part of, the, of their identity. So let's see how well these boys clean up. In the formal wear section, the boys will be judged based on confidence, poise, and how well the question was answered. Please, welcome back to the stage, Nathan Scott. Nathan Scott is a music therapy major, escorted by his sister, Lindsay, who he had the pleasure of escorting to the Brigham City Peach Queen pageant a couple weeks ago. He was born in Logan. Nathan was raised from day one to be an Aggie. He loved... His love for USU has inspired him to involve himself on campus, including running for arts senator with his famous campaign slogan, Vote for the Scotsman. Nate is proud to claim the home court advantage tonight, having performed on stage before. During his free time, Nate enjoys brushing his luscious mane, been watching Pitch Perfect, and shaking shake it off to take some tea swift. After graduation, Nate intends to pursue a career in music therapy, focusing on helping those suffering from mental disorders and substance abuse. Nate would like to go on to give a huge shout out to his friends, his family, and the audience for their love and support. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Nathan Scott. Mr. Arts, what is your favorite song? That's a tough one. Uh, honestly, it changes day to day. Um, but I would probably have to say, well, today, actually, September 25th, is the anniversary of my grandparents. And 
I wrote a song for my grandma because my grandpa passed away about 10 years ago. Um, so I would have to say that's my favorite song today. Would you be willing to sing that? Uh, well, I need a guitar. Um, I do have one because I pretty much bring it with me <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I'm a music therapy major. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> This is, this is called, um, I Thank God for His Daughter. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, dedicate this to my grandparents. chose became a mess there was a time I couldn't care less but then she came that touch of grace I fell in love when I first saw her face I made the choice to change that day looking back it's a small price to pay for all she sacrificed for me how she came to love me is a mystery Cause she's an angel Sent from God above to his son He always loved She came and forever changed my life At first glimpse I knew she'd be my wife We were wed, my dream came true. Clea, all I want is you. I'm gone now, but tell our family. I'm patiently waiting for eternity, cause you're an angel sent from God above to his son. He always loved you came and forever changed my life at first glimpse i knew you'd be my wife i thank god for his daughter Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Arts. <clears throat> Up next, please put your hands together for Mr. Agriculture, Kellen Huber. <laughs> Kellen is an up-and-coming superstar in the agricultural education major, and he's probably the only guy in the College of Ag that can't grow a beard. <laughs> he's originally from the central coast of California, and he's escorted by his lovely sister, Janae Huber. <clears throat> Kellen's professors have said he's the guy that always comes in late and the one that always looks half asleep. But really, he's just a famous YouTuber with only 204 subscribers. <coughs> he's a wedding videographer, although who knows if he'll ever settle down to have his own wedding filmed. 
The one thing he loves most is crumble cookies, but you would never know that because some say he has the physique of a Quidditch player, because he is one. Everyone, please welcome Kellen Huber. Mr. Agriculture, what is the craziest thing you have ever done? Uh, well, let's see. I, I left my beautiful hometown with warm weather and the beaches and everything of California, and I came to the freezing cold snowy mountains of Utah to go to college. And then since going to college here, I, uh, I started a meme page. <laughs> And that's taken off a bit. Uh, you all know it as Aggie Memory. And that's been lots of fun. Thank you. Everyone, please give it up for Mr. Kellen Huber. <laughs> up next, we have Brandon Ellis. Brandon Ellis is a marketing major, escorted by his lovely wife and Mrs. Business, Adria. Just another lengthy poser from Colorado, Ellen, Brandon Ellis is an energetic representative of the John M. Huntsman School of Business. Like most of these folks on stage, Brandon overextends himself and does everything from being a station manager for the best college radio station, 92.3 FM Aggie Radio. That's such a shameless plug. Marketing for events services, and yes, he was that one crazy trombone player in the marching pep band. Besides his hankering for attention, Brandon loves his wife, his friends, and Pupayas from Los Primos. Dang, those mother effers are good. Please, give it up for Brandon Ellis. Sorry. Mr. Business, what is the most embarrassing thing that happened to you in school? Yes. <laughs> All right, um, let me think. All right, okay, 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 I got a good one. During an educational trip, um, I, I went to the bathroom, and there, there, there thus was a, uh, a bidet, which if any, for the American me, I'm like, I've never experienced a bidet before. I'm like, okay. <laughs> bidet me. <laughs> and I like, crank this, this, this sucker up, and this, Boiling hot, boiling hot jet of lava hell stream comes up right where the sun don't shine. I'm like, ah, yeah! I'm screaming and I'm like, ah, and I'm like trying to wipe myself clean and everything's soaked. And I come out and this family that we're staying with, they're like, Brand Brandon, what, what happened? And I'm like, ah. and all the kids are just like, And that's got probably the probably most embarrassing thing ever. <laughs> Everyone, please give a hand to Brandon Ellis. <laughs> Next up, we have our very own Connor Simmons. <laughs> Connor Simmons is a psychology and nutrition science major, escorted by his lovely backup dancers, Maddie and Abriana. Connor hails from the metropolis of Mud Lake, Idaho. It may sound like a small town, but it really is. <clears throat> USU has become his new home and he loves the people he meets up here. When he's not busy thinking about how curly his hair is, not only does he look great in the tearaway pants, but he can crack a whip without needing a nene. <laughs> For his birthday last week, he went down to Nevada to raid Area 51 and then he grabbed some sushi afterwards. His unique talent includes making homemade trail mix from sticks and pine needles and squeezing his very own orange juice with his bare hands. Connor can frequently be seen on campus waiting in the empty fountains, taking naps on the TSC couches, or just checking himself out on the Eccles Conference Center windows. All we know is, it's Connor Simmons. Mr. Education, uh, what is your guilty pleasure? Well, okay. 
Um, I'm always like jamming out in my car, like dancing wise, singing wise to anything by Megan Trainer, um, <laughs> Billie Eilish, or like Sorry Not Sorry by Demi Lovato. But I, I think my biggest guilty pleasure uh, is Q-tips. Because, <laughs> so, so you know you're not supposed to use them, right? Like, you're not supposed to. It's been proven or whatever. But you do because it feels good. And it, <laughs> it feels right. So that's probably my biggest guilty pleasure. Thank you, Connor. <laughs> Up next is Tyler Frankham. Tyler Frankham is a mechanical engineering major, escorted by his girlfriend, Emily Roberts. Tyler has completed, well, absolutely nothing. This is the most boring person we have ever encountered. He grew up in Salem, Idaho. He was a grocery store bagger for two years. Then he moved up here. Oh, wait, this just in. He claims that he has learned how to count backwards from 10 upside down. He and his girlfriend are planning on getting married in the summer, and he's hoping she won't realize her mistake before it's too late. So you don't want me to read a bit of the part about the nine years of prison? Oh crap, the mic was on, sorry. All we know is it's Tyler Frankham. Mr. Engineering, what is your hidden talent? Oh, I've got so many. So, so many. Um, I think my most hidden one is I can play the bagpipes without the bagpipes. <laughs> Do you want me to demonstrate? Okay. All right. Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> Next on stage is Mr. Chass, Reed Erickson. He's a communication studies major, and he's here to remind you that Chass kicks butt with his spicy Chass queen, Regan Clough. Reed comes from USU from his hometown of Cuna, Idaho, where he was crown runner-up in Mr. Cuna High School. Ever since that dreaded date night, Reed has been waiting patiently for his time to finally get revenge and take home the crown in an even more prestigious all-male pageant. Although you may recognize Reed from the mosh pit at the How or terrorizing opposing teams from the front row of the spectrum, don't let this party animal fool you. Reed loves getting to know people and serving people in need. He works at a treatment center for teenage boys in drug treatment, has worked at the site director for the local boys and girls clubs and volunteers on non other nonprofits in preparation for pursuing a master's degree in social work and becoming a school counselor. In his spare time, Reed enjoys doing his hair. Please give it up for Reed. Mr. Chass, what is your idea of the perfect date? Thought about doing that one. <laughs> um, I would say anything that doesn't leave me getting ghosted afterwards. <laughs> you know what? Let's talk about ghosting for a second, okay? Okay? <laughs> if you have ever been ghosted, raise your hand. So basically, everybody under the age of 30. Perfect. So what we're gonna do, put your hands back up, put your hands back up. On my count of three, you're gonna turn to the closest person with their hand up to you, and you are gonna give the most emotional, passionate high five you have ever given. Let this be a healing experience for you, okay? <laughs> give out a little yell too, let it rage, baby. Yes. Yes, 
Listen, honey, the person who ghosted you has extremely low emotional intelligence. They have an extreme lack of respect. You are better than them, okay? You're better than them. Hey. Now one more thing. Listen up, honey. You are great. You are special. And honey, you are worth it. Don't let those ghosters get you down, baby. That is my idea of a perfect date. Anything that leaves me not getting ghosted. Everyone, read Erickson. Next up, we have Mr. Natural Resources, Christian Chavez. He is a chemistry major with a minor in philosophy, escorted by his nephew, Superman, who loves to call Christian Uncle Chicken. <laughs> Originally born in Utah, made from one of the best decisions he ever made in life, and came to Utah State, where he found his passion for fashion and making bow ties, including the ones you saw at the beginning of the show. In his free time, he enjoys spending being with friends, family, learning new instruments, cooking, baking, making people smile, and playing volleyball, even though he is 5'7 and can't hit the front row for the life of him. Although he's the shortest one on stage, he's the tallest one in his family, and he loves to tease them about it. He loves to meet new people and has absolutely loved every moment he's got to spend with other competitors because they are simply some of the nicest and most interesting people he has ever met and getting the pleasure to know. Everyone, please welcome Christian Chavez. Mr. Natural Resources, if you were to win this pageant, what message would you send to all the young freshman boys out there? <laughs> I mean, don't all your freshman boys go chasing after like senior girls, okay? <laughs> um, uh, don't be sad because sad backward is Daz and Daz not good. <laughs> um, and don't drop out of college because Logan and Utah State is such an amazing place to be. Everyone, Christian Chavez. Please put your hands together for Mr. Science, Max Heine. Max Heine is a statistical and economics major, escorted by his girlfriend, Kim Martins. While he first comes off as a loaf of Wonder Bread stood up on its end so it towers over everything else, Max enjoys a wide variety of activities from board games and learning to play basketball, hiking, and drinking eggnog. Throughout his college career, Max has worked as a sandwich chef, orientation leader, connections peer mentor, corporate banking slave, and on student government, helping plan POVEV and other events. Max is grateful for the incredible opportunities provided for him and other students here at Utah State, and will always love the students, faculty, professors, and traditions of this glorious university. Please welcome Max. Mr. Science, what is the funniest joke you know by heart? Okay. Where's my dad? Dad, you're gonna love this one. All right. <laughs> are are y'all ready? This is. It takes a a keen mind to get this one. All right, but it's funny. It's funny. What's the difference between a good joke and a bad joke? Timing. <laughs> Max Heine, everyone. Up next is Mr. Student Alumni, Jeremy Ludwig. <laughs> Introducing Mr. SAA's newest model, the 2019 Jeremy Ludwig. Jeremy is a double major in communi communication studies and journalism and is being escorted by his bestie, Lauren Lamelli. He is thrilled to be, to be participating in this competition because it involves two of his things he loves most. One, USU, and two, attention. 
Jeremy grew up from the far off land of Salt Lake City and chose USU because he heard, he heard great things. And not to mention that there's no way in you know what he's going to BYU. In his free time, Jeremy loves hiking, running, baking, tweeting, listening to Beyonce in the Rancheritos drive through and who could forget watching reality television. He'd like to thank his family, friends, traditions committee for this opportunity and Michelle Obama. Everyone, it's Jeremy Ludwig. Mr. Student Alumni, who is your woman crush Wednesday? My woman crush Wednesday? Well, you know, Porter, is someone who's hopelessly attracted to women. I'm kidding, I have a WCW, um, I've got it. She is, her name is Greta Thunberg. She is a 16 year old from Sweden who dropped out of school to become an activist for climate change. Um, she just, she just gave an incredible speech at the UN that everyone should watch and she's nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. Um, not to be dramatic, but I would die for her. And because she's trying to save this planet, so everyone, recycle. Don't idle your cars, don't litter. And that's all I have to say. How's that for a Woman Crush Wednesday? Thank you, Jeremy. Everyone, please welcome Mr. Diversity, Max Karabachian. Maximiliano Karabachian is not to be confused with a Kardashian or a Dusty Mop. He is an exercise science major and a finance minor. Max is being escorted by his devilishly handsome nephew, Ezra, who is only seven months old and extremely better looking and more talented than Max is. From flipping his horse hair to pretending he knows how to dance, Max likes to spend his time annoying his family and friends singing, even though he sounds like a toad, watching Grey's Anatomy, and practicing being a professional terrorist when he becomes a physical therapist. He really enjoys his family dinners, especially when his mom cooks Armenian food, Brazilian, and yes, even plain American food. Max has spent the last three years plastering on a fake smile and working sales at T-Mobile. If you need to buy a phone, visit Max. If you need to troubleshoot your phone, Please just dial 611. Everyone, it's Max. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Diversity, what famous person are you most similar to and why? I think we all know who I'd like to be similar to. No, buddy, you can't eat that. I want to say Beyonce, but <laughs> am I though? Because Queen B is really Queen B. Nobody is similar to her, not even her, and that doesn't make sense. I think I am most similar to Jason Momoa, honestly. I mean, let's look at the material. He and I, he and I share the same hair. Please don't pull my hair. He and I share the same hair. Although, I will say, Jason Momoa is like quadruple my size. So, I'll probably say I'm a flaccid Jason Momoa. <laughs> Thank you, Max. Up next is Mr. Greek, Glenn Peterson. Glennion Peterson is a public relations major escorted by his Alpha Chi sweetheart, Hunter Hailstrom. A man known by many names, such as Enrique Shockwave and Glem, there are not many people like him, likely because everyone else with the name Glenn is 80 years old and doesn't own as many Pokemon cards as him. His greatest accomplishments in life are becoming an Alpha Chi favorite guy, working at Angie's, and having his mom 
say that she's proud of him. While he may look deceptively fit, he is actually just a sediment scarecrow coming back to claim his crown. Everyone, it's Glenn Peterson. <laughs> I swear, Dad. <laughs> Mr. Greek, who would win in a fight between a grilled cheese and a taco? Um, is the taco hard shelled or soft shelled? Hard. Hard taco. Hard shell. There's there's a lot more like there's a lot more going for the grilled cheese. You know, it's like a like it would just body slam that guy. You know, like it would just crush it under the pressure and under act his actual weight. Unless we're talking like street rules or like then taco for sure would just poison it. Like, <laughs> like it's not. <laughs> Taco's got me in the bathroom for days, man. Like, it's not, it's not even a question. <laughs> Thank you, Glenn. Last, but certainly not least, Mr. Involvement, Tony Alstrom. Tony is a communication studies major, escorted by his friend, the education senator, Tiffany Bird. Is he going to a meeting, or is he on his way to an event, or is he simply playing Pokemon Go? The answer is D, all of the above. From singing in a choir, to participating in student government, to spending time with his best friend. <laughs> Here at Utah State, Tony Allstrom is always finding some way to get involved, to meet new people and learn new things. Though it has been proven that our Tony, Mr. Involvement, is not the famed superhero Iron Man, he still does love Utah State and all of you 3,000. Please welcome Tony Ostrom. Mr. Involvement, <clears throat> tell me something about yourself that no one else knows. So your question is, what is something about me that no one else knows? Cool, got it. Um, when I was in fourth grade, I was in the district spelling bee. I was very proud and very happy, and I spelled the same word wrong in practice for six months. I got that word when I was in the final four. I looked right in my mom's eyes and saw this face. <laughs> and I spelled it wrong. And so I ran to the audience, right where my dad's sitting right now, I jumped on his shoulders, and I cried because I was so sad that I disappointed my parents. But they told me I didn't because we did really good and made it that far. So that's something that people don't know about me. I don't really enjoy these kind of stages because flashbacks. But <laughs> Thank you, Tony. <laughs> all right, Aggies. We have seen some pretty incredible acts and been delighted by all of these free entertainment tonight. Contestants, it's game time. Our judges have been contemplating, conspiring, and number crunching to determine this year's man of USU. Please take the stage to find out the results. Audience, let's give them one last round of applause. Now welcome to the stage, all of the Mr. USU contestants. Give them a round of applause, please. <laughs> Tonight's Mr. People's Choice Award goes to Kellen Huber. Tonight's Mr. Congeniality goes to Christian Chavez. And for tonight's second attendant, we have Reed Erickson.
And for our first attendant, sorry, that's not the, sorry. Our first attendant is Connor Simmons. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, this year's 2019, Mr. USU is Max Garabachian. Thank you all for coming to Mr. USU. Please take the survey to win collectible USU stickers and good night. Honey, honey, I can see the stars.